Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology and a minor in Technical and Professional Writing. My first two years, I mean, they were difficult. I did a lot of studying. I also didn't want to get involved because I wanted to make sure academics came first. I wanted to make sure that I succeeded because the reason that I'm here is to get an education. So I've had a lot of um, professors and advisors that have helped me along the way, all the different departments, math, English, psychology, technical writing, the different staff on campus, because it's not only faculty that I feel support students on campus, the staff does it as well. Um, I've made a lot of staff connections. All of them together, not just the faculty, not just the staff separate, but the university as a whole, I wouldn't have been able to get to where I am today without them functioning together. My life on the university has opened up. There's a lot of things that I didn't know and a lot of organizations that I got involved with. So it's been a really good four and a half years for me. My mom always asked me to come home, closer to home after my military service and I needed to go somewhere else and experience something new. And so coming down here, it's been a great experience for me. Um, sad to leave, but on to bigger and better things. What advice would I give to future Islanders? And it's just to take it seriously. One thing that I do is I make sure every class period to talk to my professors. If the professor sees that you're trying, they're gonna try and help you. Um, but you have to put that first step forward and try and make an effort um, and care about it. Just try, that's all we have to give. My name is Ruben Rodriguez, and I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. In the early 80s, uh, I was expected to go to school, to college, because I did well in high school when I applied myself, so everyone just automatically thought that, you know, I was a guaranteed college graduate. And then later I realized that I didn't have the passion to go to school back then. I didn't want to go to school. In 2011, both of my children had just recently graduated from a and Corpus, and I was doing very well at my jobs, but something was wrong, and it was about that time that I figured it out. It was that I always had the desire to have a university degree, so when I came back, this time I knew what I wanted to study, as opposed to last time. So this time I had the passion to study the discipline and this time I knew it was mechanical engineering. I would say that if a young student has a desire to go to college and they know what they want to study, meaning they have the passion to study that discipline, then for them to do it now and seek help in every area to ensure that they complete that degree plan while they're still young because it's very difficult to come back as a non-traditional student. But if life gets in the way and something happens and you have to put your education on hold, always remember that you can always come back and complete your degree and satisfy your, your desires for your life. The sound of cascading water. It was there in 1947 and continues on today. As strong as the Islander tradition. A tradition of pride in the blue and green. A memory of our achievement on the island. And a reminder that we stand prepared to take on anything. So for as long as those waves continue to crash onto the island, Texas A&M Corpus Christi graduates will yell with fervor. I am an Islander. I am an Islander.
Abraham Lincoln once said, everything that I am and hope to be, I owe to my family. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for believing in me when I couldn't. Thank you to my sisters, Victoria and Deborah, and my little brother, Andrew, for cheering me on every step of the way. Thank you to my friends, all my friends, that have been here for me every step of the way and experienced this journey with me. I am who I am today because of you. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to thank God, because without Him, none of this would be made possible. To my daughter, thank you for being my motivation, my inspiration. Everything that I do is for you. And to my parents, thank you for showing me what hard work and dedication can accomplish and for supporting and believing in my dreams and my goals. To my brother, my sister-in-law, thank you for all the help that you've given me over the years with Ariana. To my family, my friends, I love you. To all my coworkers, my friends, my family, my classmates, my professors, thank you for the years of moral support. Thank you. Congratulations, Islanders. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Um, I know you guys are probably already crying right now, but I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me. I know you made a lot of sacrifices and did a lot of hard work to get me to be here today. So I love you guys. I just want to say thank you to both of my parents. Without your guys' support, I wouldn't have been able to do half of this. Uh, even when things got really crazy, you guys were always still there to support me. You never questioned anything when things got pretty crazy. <laughs> Um, I don't know very many parents who would do that. And I'd say thank you guys so much. Uh, I love and miss both of y'all. I want to start off by thanking everyone who has touched my life throughout this incredible journey. I want to thank my family near and far, and especially my parents, Tom and Felicia, for their unending support of all my passions and dreams. My sisters, Kendra and Carissa, for all their love and listening ears. To my friends, you have made this experience one I will cherish and never forget. Without each and every one of you, I wouldn't be where I am today. So thank you all. I love you so much. Hi, Mom and Dad and everyone who came down to Corpus today to come and support me in graduation. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Before I walk the stage, I would just like to say thank you to everybody who's been there the past four years to help support me. Thank you to my family back in San Antonio for always sending prayers and love. Thank you to my Alpha Yama Delta sisters for giving me the best college experience. Thank you to my hometown best friends. You made me who you are today, and you know who you are. Thank you to my brothers and my sisters for always helping me laugh and get through the tough times. Thank you to my grandparents for always supporting me 110%. But most of all, thank you to my mom and dad for never questioning why I wanted to become a theater major and always being there for me. I love you all so much, and this diploma is not just mine. It's yours, too. So happy graduation day, mom and dad. We did it. I love you all. Thank you. Hi, mom and dad. Um... Thank you for believing in me. I got this tape to thank you and tell you how I really feel. So thank you for all your support. Uh, I want to thank my brother, my sisters, my grandma, grandpa, all the family that helped me through everything. Thank you for all your support and all that. Thank you. I want to thank Dr. Matthews for getting me into McNair program, helping me with stuff that I needed. I want to thank SSS. Uh, even though it doesn't exist anymore, SOAR, I want to thank that for all the help they gave me. Um, I want to thank Crystal for getting me into LSAMP. I want to thank Karen for getting me a, a job. Um, thank you so much for that. I want to thank everybody on the staff at SSS, everybody at SOAR. Uh, there's too many of you guys to name, but uh, thank you all so much. I want to thank all my friends, all my clubs that um, helped me with everything. Uh, I thank everybody that I helped with scholarships, tuition, anything you guys needed. I was there for you. You guys were there for me with tutors, homework, uh, extra tests, anything I could help look over. So I like that. Thank you so much for all of that. I would like to thank um, all the people that believed in me. Um, uh, the Christians, I know we had our differences, but thanks for the prayers. Um, thanks for the talks that we did. Uh, I know I was a pain sometimes, but thanks for those of you that stuck around. Thanks for everything. Thank you. I can't thank, I can't say that enough, but thank you so much for everything. Thank all of you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for supporting me, helping me. Um, believing in me. Thanks, thanks everybody for believing in me. I'm finally graduating. 
So I want to thank you guys so much for helping me out and doing what I can. And hopefully this will be the start of uh, whatever's coming my way. So hopefully maybe someday I'll be Dr. Cruz. But right now I want to thank you guys for for right now graduating. And whether I get a job or go to grad school, thank you all so much. And I'll see you later. Thank you to my husband's family for all your love and support. Thank you to my brothers for setting the example of getting a degree. Thank you to mom and dad for all your help with the kids. I told you eventually I would graduate. Thank you to my sons, Tristan and Aiden. Thank you for all your patience, guys. It was all for you. And last but not least, thank you to my husband. None of this would have been possible. We did it, babe. We showed our kids it was never too late to go back and get our degrees. I love you. I just really just wanted to thank my parents and my amazing family for always being there, giving me the love and support, and for being my number one motivators uh, my entire life. And um, quiero dar una gracias especial a mis abuelos por uh, todo tu amor y apoyo uh, cuando lo, lo necesitaba. Um, and just thank you guys so much, and I, I hope that I'm making you proud, and no, it's not over yet. I just want to take the time to thank all my friends and family for always being there for me and supporting me to get to where I am today, especially my sorority sisters here at Tammy CC. Muchas gracias a ti, mami, por haberme ayudado a lograr todas mis metas. Gracias por siempre estar detrás de mí y haber sido mi más grande apoyo. To everyone at the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network, thank you so much for letting me be overly involved. You're a crazy bunch. I love you. To all my friends, thank you so much for all the laughs, the late night study sessions, and the crazy adventures. To my family, thank you so much for the endless support. I appreciate every moment of it. And a special thank you to my mom. Thank you for everything. I really just, I appreciate it, and I love you so, so much. Hi, everybody. I just want to take the time to say thank you to everybody who's traveled from Floresville and San Antonio to be here on this special day for me. I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be making this accomplishment without the support and love from all of you. Today, as I cross this stage, I just want to take the time to thank the good Lord above for everything he has blessed me with in this journey of my college experience. Today, as I cross this stage, I just want to say that I am clothed with strength and dignity and laugh without fear of the future. I wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything in life without our good Lord and the love of both my grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, family, everything. I just want to say thank you. Congratulations, class of 2016. We did it. First off, I'd like to thank my parents, Obi and Liz Garcia, for the amazing support that they've given to me during my entire process here at TAM UCC. Being the first person in my family to ever graduate college is an, uh, an amazing accomplishment, and I couldn't have done it without you. Words can't express how appreciative I am of you and how much I love you for that. I hope I've made you proud. Secondly, I'd like to thank my boyfriend, Michael, for always being there for me and helping me. Lastly, I'd like to thank my friends and family for always being there for me to lean on for help or support. You've definitely made this experience better for me. One day, I hope I'm an inspiration for my nieces and nephews to attend college and accomplish all their dreams. Thank you. Throughout my journey in nursing school, I've faced many obstacles and had to overcome many challenges. From the death of my father, to the passing of my grandmother, to my mother's diagnosis, to raising three children. Needless to say, it hasn't been easy, but my mother has been the one to help me through it all. So I'd like to tell my mom, thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and continue to do for me and my children. I'd like to tell my boyfriend, Jose Hernandez, that I love you so much and thank you for sticking by me through all these years and helping me get through everything. I also want to thank my children for being patient with me on those days that mommy wasn't able to do things with them, as well as my nieces and nephews who have also helped me through everything. All that I have gotten done and all that I will continue to do is for you guys. I love you. First, I want to thank you, Dr. Chen, for allowing me to work. I feel that so much of college is theoretical, but you've allowed me to show, see the practical side of it, and it was an amazing opportunity. Hey dad, hey mom, you guys are the best parents in the world. Thank you so much for allowing me to go to college and getting a degree. 
Hey, Megan, guess what? No more singing until 2 o'clock in the morning. I know. I'm sorry. It'll be okay. Shout out to all my fellow graduates and Islanders. Let's rock this thing. Peace out. Your name is on the diploma. Now leave your mark on the island. A paver in the Walk of Recognition is the perfect way to commemorate your time at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Made of quality materials ensuring durability, each paver can be customized with the name of the student, major, club, or organization, and year of graduation. And on the larger 8x8 paver, you have the option to include one of five beautiful seals from the university's long and rich history. Proceeds of a paver on the Walk of Recognition directly support Support student scholarships. You'll relive memories when you return to your alma mater and see your paver appropriately displayed. Pavers are placed in the Center for Instruction Courtyard. For information on how to order your paver for the Walk of Recognition, contact the Student Foundation at 361-825-5558 today. My name is Christina Brooks and I am graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology and a minor in Technical and Professional Writing. My first two years, I mean, they were difficult. I did a lot of studying. I also didn't want to get involved because I wanted to make sure academics came first. I wanted to make sure that I succeeded because the reason that I'm here is to get an education. So I've had a lot of um, professors and advisors that have helped me along the way, all the different departments, math, English psychology, technical writing, the different staff on campus, because it's not only faculty that I feel supports students on campus, the staff does it as well. Um, I've made a lot of staff connections. All of them together, not just the faculty, not just the staff separate, but the university as a whole, I wouldn't have been able to get to where I am today without them functioning together. My life on the university has opened up. There's a lot of things that I didn't know and a lot of organizations that I got involved with. So it's been a really good four and a half years for me. My mom always asked me to come home, closer to home after my military service, and I needed to go somewhere else and experience something new. And so coming down here, it's been a great experience for me. Um, sad to leave, but on to bigger and better things. What advice would I give to future Islanders? And it's just to take it seriously. One thing that I do is I make sure every class period to talk to my professors. If the professor sees that you're trying, they're gonna try and help you. Um, but you have to put that first step forward and try and make an effort um, and care about it. Just try, that's all we have to give. My name is Ruben Rodriguez, and I'm graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. In the early 80s, uh, I was expected to go to school, to college, because I did well in high school when I applied myself, so everyone just automatically thought that, you know, I was a guaranteed college graduate. And then later I realized that I didn't have the passion to go to school back then. I didn't want to go to school. In 2011, both of my children had just recently graduated from A&M Corpus, and I was doing very well at my jobs, but something was wrong, and it was about that time that I figured it out. It was that I always had the desire to have a university degree. So when I came back, this time I knew what I wanted to study, as opposed to last time. So this time I had the passion to study the discipline and this time I knew it was mechanical engineering. I would say that if a young student 
has a desire to go to college and they know what they want to study, meaning they have the passion to study that discipline, then for them to do it now and seek help in every area to ensure that they complete that degree plan while they're still young. Because it's very difficult to come back as a non-traditional student. But if life gets in the way and something happens and you have to put your education on hold, always remember that you can always come back and complete your degree and satisfy your, your desires for your life. Freshman year, it wasn't too long ago that students were at first year Islander Convocation. It's the first induction ceremony where students get their official FYI medallion. The bronze medallion is a symbol of a student's commitment to pursue higher education and the university's commitment to support them every step of the way. Today, first year Islanders participants are wearing their medallions to show off how their pursuit has paid off. First Year Islanders, another one-of-a-kind award-winning program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Island University. The sound of cascading water. It was there in 1947 and continues on today. As strong as the Islander tradition. A tradition of pride in the blue and green. A memory of our achievement on the island and a reminder that we stand prepared to take on anything. So for as long as those waves continue to crash onto the island, Texas A&M Corpus Christi graduates will yell with fervor. I am an Islander. I am an Islander. Abraham Lincoln once said, everything that I am and hope to be, I owe to my family. Thank you, mom and dad, for believing in me when I couldn't. Thank you to my sisters, Victoria and Deborah, and my little brother, Andrew, for cheering me on every step of the way. Thank you to my friends, all my friends, that have been here for me every step of the way and experienced this journey with me. I am who I am today because of you. Thank you. First and foremost, I want to thank God, because without him, none of this would be made possible. To my daughter, thank you for being my motivation, my inspiration. Everything that I do is for you. And to my parents, thank you for showing me what hard work and dedication can accomplish and for supporting and believing in my dreams and my goals. To my brother and my sister-in-law, thank you for all the help that you've given me over the years with Ariana. To my family, my friends, I love you. To all my coworkers, my friends, my family, my classmates, my professors, thank you for the years of moral support. Thank you and congratulations, Islanders. Hi mom, hi dad. Um, I know you guys are probably already crying right now, but I just wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me. I know you made a lot of sacrifices and did a lot of hard work to get me to be here today. So I love you guys. I just want to say thank you to both my parents. Without your guys' support, I wouldn't have been able to do half of this. Uh, even when things got really crazy, you guys were always still there to support me, never questioned anything. 
and things got pretty crazy. Um, I don't know very many parents who would do that. And I'd say thank you guys so much. Uh, I love and miss both of y'all. I want to start off by thanking everyone who has touched my life throughout this incredible journey. I want to thank my family near and far, and especially my parents, Tom and Felicia, for their unending support of all my passions and dreams. My sisters, Kendra and Carissa, for all their love and listening ears. To my friends, you have made this experience one I will cherish and never forget. Without each and every one of you, I wouldn't be where I am today. So thank you all. I love you so much. Hi, Mom and Dad and everyone who came down to Corpus today to come and support me in graduation. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Before I walk the stage, I would just like to say thank you to everybody who's been there the past four years to help support me. Thank you to my family back in San Antonio for always sending prayers and love. Thank you to my Alpha Yama Delta sisters for giving me the best college experience. Thank you to my hometown best friends. You made me who you are today and you know who you are. Thank you to my brothers and my sisters for always helping me laugh and get through the tough times. Thank you to my grandparents for always supporting me 110%. But most of all, thank you to my mom and dad for never questioning why I wanted to become a theater major and always being there for me. I love you all so much, and this diploma is not just mine, it's yours too. So happy graduation day, mom and dad. We did it. I love you all. Thank you. Hi, mom and dad. Um, thank you for believing in me. I got this tape to thank you and tell you how I really feel. So thank you for all your support. Uh, I want to thank my brother, my sisters, my grandma, grandpa, all the family that helped me through everything. Thank you for all your support and all that. Thank you. I want to thank Dr. Matthews for getting me into McNair program, helping me with stuff that I needed. I want to thank SSS. Uh, even though it doesn't exist anymore, SOAR, I want to thank that for all the help they gave me. Um, I want to thank Crystal for getting me into LSAMP. I want to thank Karen for getting me a, a job. Um, thank you so much for that. I want to thank everybody on the staff at SSS, everybody at SOAR. Uh, there's too many of you guys to name, but uh, thank you all so much. I want to thank all my friends, all my clubs that um, helped me with everything. Uh, I thank everybody that I helped with scholarships, tuition, anything you guys needed. I was there for you. You guys were there for me with tutors, homework, uh, extra tests, anything I could help look over. So I like that. Thank you so much for all of that. I would like to thank um, all the people that believed in me. Um, uh, the Christians, I know we had our differences, but thanks for the prayers. Um, thanks for the talks that we did. Uh, I know I was a pain sometimes, but thanks for those of you that stuck around. Thanks for everything. Thank you. I can't think, I can't say that enough, but thank you so much for everything. Thank all of you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for supporting me, helping me. Um, believing in me. Thanks, thanks everybody for believing in me. I'm finally graduating, so I want to thank you guys so much for helping me out and doing what I can. And hopefully, this will be the start of uh, whatever's coming my way. So hopefully, maybe someday I'll be Dr. Cruz. But right now, I want to thank you guys for for right now graduating and. Whether I get a job or go to grad school, thank you all so much, and I'll see you later. Thank you to my husband's family for all your love and support. Thank you to my brothers for setting the example of getting a degree. Thank you to mom and dad for all your help with the kids. I told you eventually I would graduate. Thank you to my sons, Tristan and Aiden. Thank you for all your patience, guys. It was all for you. And last but not least, thank you to my husband. None of this would have been possible. We did it, babe. We showed our kids it was never too late to go back and get our degrees. I love you. I just really just wanted to thank my parents and my amazing family for always being there, giving me the love and support, and for being my number one motivators uh, my entire life. And um, quiero dar una gracias especial a mis abuelos por uh, todo tu amor y apoyo uh, cuando lo, lo necesitaba. Um, and just thank you guys so much, and I, I hope that I'm making you proud, and no, it's not over yet. 
I just want to take the time to thank all my friends and family for always being there for me and supporting me to get to where I am today, especially my sorority sisters here at Tammy CC. Muchas gracias a ti, mami, por haberme ayudado a lograr todas mis metas. Gracias por siempre estar detrás de mí y haber sido mi más grande apoyo. To everyone at the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network, thank you so much for letting me be overly involved. You're a crazy bunch. I love you. To all my friends, thank you so much for all the laughs, the late night study sessions, and the crazy adventures. To my family, thank you so much for the endless support. I appreciate every moment of it. And a special thank you to my mom. Thank you for everything. I really just, I appreciate it, and I love you so, so much. Hi, everybody. I just want to take the time to say thank you to everybody who's traveled from Floresville and San Antonio to be here on this special day for me. I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be making this accomplishment without the support and love from all of you. Today, as I cross this stage, I just want to take the time to thank the good Lord above for everything he has blessed me with in this journey of my college experience. Today, as I cross this stage, I just want to say that I am clothed with strength and dignity and laugh without fear of the future. I wouldn't have been able to accomplish anything in life without our good Lord and the love of both of my grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, family, everything. I just want to say thank you. Congratulations, class of 2016. We did it. First off, I'd like to thank my parents, Obi and Liz Garcia, for the amazing support that they've given to me during my entire process here at TAM UCC. Being the first person in my family to ever graduate college is an, uh, an amazing accomplishment, and I couldn't have done it without you. Words can express how appreciative I am of you and how much I love you for that. I hope I've made you proud. Secondly, I'd like to thank my boyfriend, Michael, for always being there for me and helping me. Lastly, I'd like to thank my friends and family for always being there for me to lean on for help or support. You've definitely made this experience better for me. One day, I hope I'm an inspiration for my nieces and nephews to attend college and accomplish all their dreams. Thank you. Throughout my journey in nursing school, I've faced many obstacles and had to overcome many challenges. From the death of my father, to the passing of my grandmother, to my mother's diagnosis, to raising three children. Needless to say, it hasn't been easy, but my mother has been the one to help me through it all. So I'd like to tell my mom, thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and continue to do for me and my children. I'd like to tell my boyfriend, Jose Hernandez, that I love you so much and thank you for sticking by me through all these years and helping me get through everything. I also want to thank my children for being patient with me on those days that mommy wasn't able to do things with them, as well as my nieces and nephews who have also helped me through everything. All that I have gotten done and all that I will continue to do is for you guys. I love you. First, I want to thank you, Dr. Chen, for allowing me to work. I feel that so much of college is theoretical, but you've allowed me to show, see the practical side of it, and it was an amazing opportunity. Hey dad, hey mom, you guys are the best parents in the world. Thank you so much for allowing me to go to college and getting a degree. Hey Megan, guess what? No more singing until two o'clock in the morning. I know, I'm sorry, it'll be okay. Shout out to all my fellow graduates and Islanders. Let's rock this thing. Peace out. Freshman year, it wasn't too long ago that students were at first year Islander Convocation. It's the first induction ceremony where students get their official FYI medallion. The bronze medallion is a symbol of a student's commitment to pursue higher education and the university's commitment to support them every step of the way. Today, first year Islanders participants are wearing their medallions to show off how their pursuit has paid off. First Year Islanders, another one-of-a-kind award-winning program at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, the Island University.
Your name is on the diploma. Now leave your mark on the island. A paver in the Walk of Recognition is the perfect way to commemorate your time at Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Made of quality materials ensuring durability, each paver can be customized with the name of the student, major, club, or organization, and year of graduation. And on the larger 8x8 paver, you have the option to include one of five beautiful seals from the university's long and rich history. Proceeds of a paver on the Walk of Recognition directly support student scholarships. You'll relive memories when you return to your alma mater and see your paver appropriately displayed. Pavers are placed in the Center for Instruction Courtyard. For information on how to order your paver for the Walk of Recognition, contact the Student Foundation at 361-825-5558 today. My name is Christina Brooks and I am graduating with a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology and a minor in Technical and Professional Writing. My first two years, I mean, they were difficult. I did a lot of studying. I also didn't want to get involved because I wanted to make sure academics came first. I wanted to make sure that I succeeded because the reason that I'm here is to get an education. So I've had a lot of um, professors and advisors that have helped me along the way, all the different departments, math, English, psychology, technical writing, the different staff on campus, because it's not only faculty that I feel support students on campus, the staff does it as well. Um, I've made a lot of staff connections. All of them together, not just the faculty, not just the staff separate, but the university as a whole, I wouldn't have been able to get to where I am today without them functioning together. My life on the university has opened up. There's a lot of things that I didn't know and a lot of organizations that I got involved with. So it's been a really good four and a half years for me. My mom always asked me to come home, closer to home after my military service, and I needed to go somewhere else and experience something new. And so coming down here, it's been a great experience for me. Um, sad to leave, but on to bigger and better things. What advice would I give to future Islanders? And it's just to take it seriously. One thing that I do is I make sure every class period to talk to my professors. If the professor sees that you're trying, they're gonna try and help you. Um, but you have to put that first step forward and try and make an effort um, and care about it. Just try, that's all we have to give.
Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi's Spring 2016 Commencement being held at the American Bank Center in beautiful downtown Corpus Christi. Delivering today's commencement address is Mr. Charles Durain, President and CEO of Durain Wealth Management Group, Incorporated. And now, Texas A&M University Corpus Christi President and CEO, Dr. Flavius Killebrew. Welcome to today's commencement. I'm Flavius Kilbrew, President and CEO of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Several years ago, you started down the long road that led to this moment, the day you call yourself an Islander University alum. Know that you can stand tall when you proclaim that you went to Texas A&M Corpus Christi on the verge of becoming an emerging research institution and one that is recognized worldwide for its excellence. The people here today celebrating with you are likely the same ones who supported you on your journey. The steps you take across the stage today signify the end of one chapter of your life and the beginning of another. You can take pride in knowing that the degrees you will take home today command respect and recognition in the field. Our nationally recognized programs have given you hands-on experience with cutting-edge technology that will set you apart from the rest. Let me share a few of the areas where our students are already making a name for themselves. Our E-Line military program, which gives college credit to service members for their experience in the military, was the first of its kind. It was recognized by the White House and is being used as a model to create more programs like it all over the country. It's one of the programs that helped make Texas A&M Corpus Christi a top 10 online nursing program in the country, according to U.S. News and World Report. The world-renowned Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies has been named a center of excellence by the governor of Texas. That means as part of the Restore Act, millions of dollars in Deepwater Horizon fines could flow through the center to boost already robust research and monitoring of the Gulf of Mexico. Our scientists and students will collaborate with world-renowned experts. We will also continue exploration of abandoned oil rigs in the Gulf and studying government ethanol policies. We are leading the way in unmanned research from the depths of the Gulf where we have remotely operated vehicles roving the seafloor to the skies over South Texas where our unmanned aerial systems have garnered an FAA UAS test site. And did I mention we have a researcher on the cutting edge of testing ionized gas called coal plasma to safely rid food of dangerous bacteria without changing the taste. He and his students are also researching killing cancer cells and wound healing with various applications of coal plasma. We have students here today who took advantage of our unique placement as the nation's premier geographic information systems innovator by creating mapping technologies of tomorrow and students from the College of Liberal Arts who are now prepared to reach for the stars. Possibilities for A&M Corpus Christi grads are endless. Whether you spent your college years doing groundbreaking research in our state-of-the-art kinesiology labs or perhaps in our counselor education program, which was the first in the nation to receive double accreditation, our alumni include a retired vice president from Walmart, entrepreneurs, and even an inventor. Your degree is from no ordinary school. It is more than just a piece of paper. Your diploma is a sign to others that you can take on the world. I look forward to sharing your successes with future graduating classes. Thank you and congratulations.
Good afternoon. I'm Flavius Killebrew, President and Chief Executive Officer of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Texas A&M Corpus Christi, I'm pleased to welcome you, our honored graduates, proud parents, families, and friends of the university to our 2016 Spring Commencement Ceremony. I'm excited to tell you that this semester we have 1,063 students in our graduating class. This is the largest class in our history, and due to our growing numbers, we're holding two ceremonies today. This afternoon's commencement will be for graduates of the College of Business, the College of Education and Human Development, and the College of Nursing and Health Sciences. This morning, we had the ceremony for the College of Liberal Arts and the College of Engineering and Science. There will be several times during the ceremony this afternoon that we will ask the graduates and members of the audience to stand. When asked, please do so as you are able. Now, please stand for the presentation of colors by Texas A&M University Corpus Christi's ROTC Islander Battalion and remain standing for the national anthem to be sung by Ms. Janelle Stollard, a student majoring in music in the School of Arts, Media, and Communication of the College of Liberal Arts. Gentlemen, please remove your hats. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce members of the platform party who will not be introduced elsewhere in the program. If you would please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Mr. Terry Tatum, Executive Vice President for Finance and Administration. Dr. Don Albright, Vice President for Student Engagement and Success. Dr. Christine Chapala, Associate Vice President for Academic Affairs. Ms. Margaret Deccan, Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. Dr. Mark Hotlob, Dean of the Inter Interim Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. Dr. L.D. Chen, Associate Dean of the College of Science and Engineering. We'd also like to recognize our President's Ambassadors for serving as marshals for our graduates today. Let's thank these folks for being here. To speak today, we're very pleased to have with us Mr. Charles Dorain, founder of Dorain Wealth Management Group Incorporated, right here in Corpus Christi. 
After earning his bachelor's degree at the Island University in 1970, Charles went on to receive a master's of manage management degree from Vanderbilt University's Graduate School of Management in 1972. Following a distinguished 34 career with Merrill Lynch, during which he rose to the position of first vice president for investments, Charles struck out on his own in 2007, forming Durain Wealth Management Group, which has been a great success in providing enhanced financial services and a broad array of financial products to his clients. For many years, Charles has given very generously of his time and talents and volunteer leadership positions in the community. It would be impossible to list all Charles' contributions, but to name a few, he has served as president of the Combined Jewish Appeal of Corpus Christi and the Jewish Community Council. He has also served as president of the Corpus Christi Symphony Orchestra and has chaired the boards of the South Texas Council of Boy Scouts of America, the Harbor Playhouse, and on several occasions, the American Diabetes Association of the Coastal Bend Area. He is an engaging and audience-pleasing speaker as well, which frequently results in his being called upon to serve as producer and master of ceremonies at public events. He is also a well-known and radio personality, serving as a frequent guest speaker on the Bloomberg Advantage radio program, and for 34 years has been heard twice daily on South Texas Public Radio, KEDT, for market reports. Not surprisingly, his extensive and high-quality work and public leadership activities have resulted in many awards and honors. He has received the Merrill Lynch Lifetime Community Achievement Award, the Sunrise Rotary Humanitarian Award, the Distinguished Citizen Award, and the South Texas Council of the Boy Scouts of America and Texas A&M University Corpus Christi alum Alumni, Outstanding Alumni and Community Partner Award, among many others. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Charles Durain. Okay, there's 542 of you graduating this afternoon. Business, education, human development, nursing, health science, wonderful areas. The business people might pay a little bit of attention to what I say, just a little bit. Now, I'm going to speak to you for approximately 14 minutes. And at the end, you will be standing on your feet and applauding, I promise. Let's get started. Successful people know the following. They must have a plan. They must be organized. They must implement their plan. And they must have a way of evaluating the success of that plan. Let's start with the beginning of all things in interpersonal relationships. Let's start with something called relationship management. I wonder if you would turn to the person next to you and introduce yourself real fast. Go ahead. Okay. Welcome to the first step of relationship management. First step. Later, much later, you can ask them what they like. And guess what? You may just find that they like single malt, they like the Jets, they like all sorts of things. And that is the beginning of a relationship once you have found common ground. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the key to success. You've got to meet people, you have to find common ground, you have to be developing your network of people. People who make it to the top in business or any profession are not only very good at what they do, they're the best managers of relationship management. They know how to get the very best from people. And it's by managing relationships very well. We define ourselves by where we choose and how we develop through this process called our life. In many cases, people came here early, borrowed in, and made it their place. 
I came here in 1967 to attend what was then the University of Corpus Christi. I never dreamed that 46 years later, I'd still be here. But I went to Nashville, and I went to New York, and I went to California, and I went to lots of places, and this place alone drew me back. It was a magnet, and it made all the difference. When I came here, there was an ad. What got me here was there was an ad in the New York Times on a Sunday in February, and it was cold. It was 13 degrees, and the ad said, sun, surf, and sand. The University of Corpus Christi. And the attention getter was a woman wearing a bikini riding a horse. I looked in the almanac, and the almanac said it was 82 in Corpus Christi. I made the phone call. You are the future of this city, of our state, and of this country. So when you leave here today, we're depending on you as the next generation of leaders. So stand proud, walk with the confidence that you know what your mission is and that you're prepared to do it. There's 3,026 colleges in America that are granting four-year college degrees this month. This is only one of them. Your competition is tough. It's out there. It's looking for the same job, career, profession, whatever you want to call it, as you are. So you're going to have to be, well, tough, strong, and push yourself to get there. To get going, you should learn wherever you end up. I hope it's Corpus Christi, because we can use some fine people like yourselves. But you should get to know everyone in your community. Take a leadership position. Doesn't matter where it is. You can start with your church or anything else you want. Take a leadership position. Learn, grow, take on more responsibility. Get involved. This way, you can make Corpus Christi or any other place your place in the sky. It's your place in the sky. It doesn't matter what your business is, whether you're in engineering, nursing, education. If you aspire to go to the top, you have to be a good manager of people. Go out of your way to help people and remember that this life you live is the one that you are going to be remembered for. You get to put into it what you hope to get out of it. Some people rise to the top early and you see them. Several years ago, I was looking for a, a young associate for my business. So I called Dr. Paku, Dr. Abdul Samad, and a few other people at the university, and I said, I'm looking for somebody who's kind of a junior version of me, but they don't have to be as heavy. Didn't get a joke, didn't even laugh at that this morning. So all of these people came back to me and they said, Travis Kruger, Travis, stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, Travis Kruger. That's what happens when you excel, people get to know you, you get to know others, you network like crazy, and somebody taps you on the shoulder and says, I have a job for you. So folks, that's kind of what you have to do. To look good to others, to look good to others, you have to look good every day to yourself. This means press pants, iron shirts, well-groomed, shined shoes. If you look sloppy, we will think your work is sloppy. Everybody got that? Say it. If I look sloppy, my work will be sloppy. Come on. You're supposed to say this. If I look sloppy, my work will be sloppy. So the idea is, gentlemen, take a shave, shine your shoes. Ladies, wear some heels if you like. Okay? You're being judged all the time. It's not just once in a while. It's all the time. And guess what? There is only one first impression. 
one first impression. So you have to think about every single day, how good do I want to look? How much do I want to do? How do I want to look when I shake the, the hand of a person who can dramatically change my life? I noticed some of you looked a little tired today. So it turns out there's probably a few of you, what, at Brewster's, at Molly's, Izzy's, right? Did I miss a place, right? Okay, I think that's where you were. Many years ago, I dreamed of being a Broadway producer. And I actually left Merrill Lynch and went to Broadway, picked an option to property, and got started. Well, as it turned out, I didn't get to do this. It didn't work out in the end. But I met people who then introduced me to other people, who introduced me to other people. And I had this gigantic network, this circle of people I know everywhere. If you haven't thought about doing that, you should do that. I will tell you, you will learn more from your failures than your successes. And I know I'm not the first one to say that. But you have to try all manner of things to, to be successful. Sometimes it doesn't work the first or second or the third time. There's many stories out there of people who tried Kentucky Fried Chicken. The colonel was 68 years old when somebody finally said, oh yeah, I like your recipe. But he spent his whole life up to that time and nobody liked what he was doing. You've got Steve Jobs, you've got lots of people who it didn't work the first time. Steve Jobs got fired from Apple. They threw him out. They brought him back later. Microsoft put up the money for Apple to continue to grow, which is a whole different story. And Steve became probably the greatest technological, technological innovator ever on the planet. Our generation is relying on your generation to solve some of the issues in this country we are unable to solve. Are you up to the challenge? You've got to ask yourself that question. A good plan today is better than a fantastic plan two months from now. Immediacy is more important than being absolutely perfect. Immediacy. You've got to do something quickly. And now, I would say that in goal setting, it's important to dream your dream and then break it down into small enough components so that it is achievable. And then success can be yours. Sometimes the enormity of the tasks that we take on frees us. So you have to break it down into small enough pieces so that you can do it. Risk. Let's talk about risk. Risk is a part of a successful life. You can't, wait, you can't walk away from it. There's risk with acquiring a spouse, house, children, debt, moving up in the world in business, starting a business. Lots of risk out there. It's often been said that with no risk, there can be no reward. That's true, but the amount of risk you take on has to be proportionate to what your reward is expected to be. Be careful with the amount of risk that people push you to take. In this world, it's not three strikes and you're out. You keep going. And I've said that before, but it's worth noting. A lot of people go, well, I can't do it, I can't do it. Well, you can do it. The question is, do you want to? Do you want to? There are people in this world with, who have great educations who choose not to be successful because they were too good to work hard for it. Now, if you weren't born rich, this is not a viable alternative for you. There are many, in this, many people in this world that can and would like to help you, and at the same time, you should extend your help to others as well. No one gets to the top without the help of many. You are our future, and from what I see here today, our future looks very bright. So your challenge is to go out and fix, invent, and change everything that you don't like about the way things are right here. Make us all proud, but most importantly, make yourself into the person to have the life that you want to be remembered for. 46 years ago, it was the beginning of my generation's time. Now it's yours. 
Now it's yours. For my business students, business is a war. It is a war of market share, demographic sales profits, and it's relentless and never ending. When you work, you work long hours in the beginning. Your work family becomes your family. You spend 10 to 12 hours or more a day with them. Be nice to them, look after them, take care of them, mentor them, because you will grow as they grow. And we all need each other in this world. In business or in any other industry, showing the worst side of yourself is never a good idea. We all have our own egos which have to be fed, but if you play the game well, and it is a game, make no mistake about it, it is, corporate life is a game. Anything that involves other people, it's a game. You want to play it, learn to play it well. I think of my own life, says if I died today, would people say that I did my best to make the world and the people in my world give them an easier, sweeter, nicer, and better life? Success in life requires your own mantra, which you program yourself, hopefully every morning. If you speak with successful people, they will tell you they program themselves for success. Many years ago, I attended a seminar by the famous Dr. Marty Cohen of Cohen Brown Management. This was 1984. That was a long time ago. Now, I've looked at this material, oh, I don't know, 365 days a year since October of 1984. Think of it this way. When you turn on your computer, it first loads the operating system before it loads the programs. We as people are much the same way. And if we load positive affirmations and great ideas, as well as motivation into our head early in the morning, it's always going to be a good day. Here's a few things for you. We are sitting on a gold mine of friends, relationships, and opportunities, and sometimes just not looking at them. So look around what's going on in your life. Day one philosophy. Today's the first day, in your case, it is the first day of your graduate life. Doesn't matter what happened before, doesn't matter what happens the next day, today is the first day of the rest of your life. You can choose many things in your life. I choose to be great, and you should too. The fun is getting there. Wow. If only I could go back and be all of you again. It was a ball getting here. You want to appear different and better. So you want to be the best dressed one. You want to be the, the one who gets in earliest, leaves latest, and the quality of your work is fantastic. That is how you get things done in this world. Life, as you know, is a normal distribution, you know, like this. In a normal distribution, 20% are below average, 60% are average, and 20% are above average. Guess what? You get to choose where you want to be in this particular life. The choice is yours. So choose well. 5% of the people run this world. Only 5%. You can say, well, there's more. No, there's only 5%. So if you have a winning attitude and you go to be one of the five percenters, wow, that's the way to do it. However, if you have a losing attitude, you're going to get fired. And so eventually you look at people and you go, how did they become so successful? Well, they only did a few things different than everybody else. They worked harder, they were smarter, they wanted it more, and they had goals in their life. So those are the kinds of things you need to be aware of. You need to learn to be a good salesman or salesperson for yourself. Now, some of you are going, I don't have to sell anything, I'm not a salesman. I would tell you, if you have a spouse, a girlfriend, a significant other, you're a great salesman. You convince somebody that you're the best thing since sliced bread, right? 
You're a salesman. So if you don't think you can sell anything, you just sold the hardest thing, and that is yourself to someone else. If you hang around with the best and brightest and avoid the rest, it's a good way to go through life. You're always known by the company that you keep. Now, I'd like to have the graduates to be to please rise. That's all of you. Now, none of you got here by yourself. You all owe many people a great debt of gratitude. So, as loud as you can, say thank you. Uh, you know what? That was only good up till high school. Louder. Again. Better. Thank you. Now, remain standing and repeat after me. If it is to be, it is up to me. You got to believe it. One more time. If. All right. And don't heckle me. If not now, then when? Good. Now, go do it. Sit down. Dr. Killebrew, they're ready. Applaud, please. Applause. Applause. Thank you, Mr. Durain, for your words to our graduates, their parents, families, friends, etc. While uh, pursuing a degree at Texas A&M Corpus Christi, our students are privileged to work with an outstanding faculty and professional librarians who are directly responsible for their success. They inspire, motivate, and mentor our students in classes and outside the formal learning experience. They are a very talented working group committed to providing a high quality education. So it's with great pride and enthusiasm that I present to you the faculty of the College of Business, the College of Education and Human Development, and the College of Nursing and Health Sciences at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. And as they stand, let's all give them a round of applause for all they've done to get you here today. Our processional today was led by Dr. Frank Lucido from the College of Education and Human Development. <coughs> Dr. Lucido was re recently recognized as a member of the Chancellor's Academy of Teacher Education. Thank you, Dr. Lucido. We now turn to the important business of conferring the degrees. I'd like to call on Dr. Kelly Quintanilla, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, who will present the candidates for graduation. Dr. Quintanilla. At this time, I would like to recognize the academic deans for each of the colleges represented at our ceremony this afternoon. The Dean of the College of Business, Dr. John Gamble. The Dean of the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Arthur Hernandez. The Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Dr. Mary Jane Hamilton. <laughs> Dean of the College of Graduate Studies, Dr. Joanne Canales. <laughs> Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to 45 bachelor's degrees. Will all the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? Dr. Killebrew, the faculty, and the deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all college and university requirements for the bachelor's degrees for which they have studied and are entitled to receive the degrees. Congratulations. Please be seated. Please be seated.
Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to 27 master's degrees. Will all the candidates for master's degree please stand? <laughs> Dr. Killebrew, the faculty and the deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all college and university requirements for the master degree for which they have studied and are entitled to receive the degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi presently offers courses of study leading to seven terminal degrees. In addition, we will be expanding our offerings with a new Doctor of Nursing Practice program that will begin the fall of this year. Will the candidates for the doctoral degrees please stand? <laughs> Dr. Killebrew, the faculty and the deans of Texas A&M University Corpus Christi and I are pleased to certify to you that the candidates who appear before you and whose names appear on the official list have met all college and university requirements for the terminal degree for which they have studied and are entitled for the degree. Now, would all candidates please stand and remain standing? Dr. Killebrew, will you join me at the podium? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, I hereby confer upon you the particular degree to which you are entitled with all the honors, rights, privileges, prerogatives, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Those earning the bachelor's degree may now turn their class ring to face outward and shift your tassel from the right to the left, symbolizing the awarding of the degree. I offer my congratulations and that of the faculty and staff for your accomplishments. Please be seated. I would like to make special mention of those bachelor's degree students who will be graduating with academic honors. These honor students must have completed at least 45 undergraduate semester hours at A&M Corpus Christi. This spring, we have 205 students receiving these honors. Students graduate summa cum laude if their grade point average is a 3.5 through a 3.699. Students graduating cum laude can be distinguished by their green cords. Please stand and be recognized. Congratulations, you may be seated. Students graduate magna cum laude if their grade point average is a 3.7 through a 3.899. Students graduating magna cum laude can be distinguished by their blue cords. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. Students graduate summa cum laude if their grade point average is a 3.9 or above. Silver cords distinguish the students graduating summa cum laude. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. This afternoon we have 10 undergraduate students who are graduating with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Would you please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. In addition, we also want to recognize students who are graduating from our university's honors program. Would our honors program graduates please stand and be recognized? These students have participated in an enriched program of study by completing at least 21 credit hours of honors courses, including a project of excellence during their senior year. Congratulations on your accomplishments. You may be seated. These are all significant academic accomplishments, and on behalf of our faculty, staff, and all others present this afternoon, I want to extend to you our sincerest congratulations. 
We will now proceed to the hooding of doctoral candidates. Doctoral degrees are considered the highest degree one can achieve in the United States universities. Texas A&M University Corpus Christi has been granting doctoral degrees since spring 1995, and today we will recognize candidates who will be receiving their doctoral degrees. This afternoon, we will award three Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership degrees, one Doctor of Philosophy and Counselor Education degree, and three Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction degrees. Dr. Hernandez, Dean of the College of Education, along with the graduate's major professors, will assist in the hooding of the doctoral candidates in the College of Education. Dr. Luis Cifuentes, Vice President of Research, Commercialization, and Outreach, will read the names and the dissertation topics for the candidates. I would ask President Killebrew to join us as we hood the doctoral candidates. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. William Neal Goodwin, Doctor of Education in Educational Leadership, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Kamir Kuzakanani Chair, dissertation title, Assessing the Link Between Emotional Intelligence and Online Student Achievement. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Lee Hernandez, Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Lynn Hemmer, Chair, dissertation title, launching an early college high school with an emphasis on career and technical education and analysis of its first year of operation, including implication for school district leaders. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Kimberly Rachel Thomas, Doctor of Education and Educational Leadership, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Nancy Smith Chair, Dissertation title, A Cross-Case Analysis of Faculty and Administrator Stress in Higher Education. Do I stay or do I go? Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Michael K. Schmidt. Doctor of Philosophy and Counselor Education, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Joshua Watson Chair. Dissertation title, Integrated Behavioral and Primary Healthcare, Comparing the Effectiveness of Treatment Modalities on Holistic Client Functioning. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Amanda Rose Garcia, Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Brian Griffith Chair. Dissertation title, The Importance and Availability of Factors Influencing Socially Responsible Design Curriculum in U.S. Higher Education Undergraduate Programs. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Usha Gurumurdi, Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Brian Griffith Chair. Dissertation title, International Baccalaureate, a Study of College Readiness. Receiving a doctoral degree from the College of Education and Human Development, Dr. Vani Sabritri Jadalanki, Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, assisting our Dean Art Hernandez and Dr. Brian Griffith Chair. Dissertation title, In the Footsteps of Madame Curie, a Cross-Case Study of Female Undergraduate Physics Majors. At this time, we will proceed by the order of college with the awarding of the master's degrees, followed by the awarding of the bachelor's degrees, assisted by Provost Quintanilla. College of Business, Master of Accountancy, Mustafa Saeed Alkabaz, Xiaoyi Chen, Tui Ti Le Ding, 
Derek Allen Escovedo. Rachel Guthrie Johnson. Juan Lee. Selvi Letlora. Yohao Lu. Tanya K. Porter. Master of Business Administration, Mohammed Rashid S. Alhudithi. Peter Eugene Alvarado. Brandy Renee Bates. Paul Allen Bessie. Dustin Lee Carter. Michael Anthony Chamberlain. Rishi Vijay Chabaria. Marjorie Yesmi Chunga Linares. Jean Conway. Daniel J. Craig. Denise Marie Curtis. Wang Do. Elizabeth Marie Enriquez. Chow Rei Fu. Lacey Goodson. Brittany Graber. Shauna Groti. Ko Yu Ji. Wenzo Yang. Pravina Kari. Adam David Lopez. Darlene Conrad Luce. Keen Ma. Jessica Renee Meyer. Fernando Moreno. Mary Abigail Newton. Crystal Ann O'Reilly. Cecilia Orozco. Sylvia Hayes Ortiz. Deborah Ann Palacios. Novan Tan Pham. Twang T. Kat Pham. Lori Catherine Pruitt. Laura Isabel Kilgarin. Francis A. Quintana. Orlando C. Ramirez. Cassidy Noga Scott. Sarinlak Sutharos. Againdia Taku. Kyle, Kyle Toei. Wang Tri Trin. Ting Wang. Roy Watson Wessels. Shen Wang. Xu Zhu. Shang Ling Zhao. College of Education and Human Development, Master of Science, Regina Marie Alonzo. Amanda Elise Alvarez. Andrea Belhazen. Christina Michelle Campos. Hannah F. Copenhaver. Brooke Ellen Copeland. Leslie Nicole Demmer. Victoria Elia. Stephanie M. Freeman. Guadalupe Garcia Jr. Maria Luisa Garcia. Lorraine Gomez. Judith Denise Gonzalez Rodriguez. Daphne Michelle Granato. Elizabeth M. Hanna. Elizabeth Marie Hernandez. Ruth Marie Luna. Donna Marie Metz. Abigail Suzanne Miller. 
Teresa Rose Muchengamba, Lee Ann Mota, Wenchil No, Lisa Olmos, America Marie Reyes, Rogelio Rios III, Abram Jonathan Rodriguez, Lisa uh, Marie Strauss, Christina Marie Watson, College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Master of Science in Nursing, Elizabeth Akinyemi, Melissa Ann Altamirano, Deepa Ramakrishna Bangalore, Catherine Kimberly Beatty, Araceli Berg, Valerie Guadalupe Bermudez, Martina Briseño Lucio, Casey Lynn Bryant, Samantha Joe Calloway, Ernesto Vasquez Sardina V, Tersiama K. Chaco, Whitney Rose Klein, Jillian Abby Cox, Megan Lynette Craig, Jesse Frank De La Cruz, Christina Foster, Kristen Diane Gaynor, Yolanda E. Garcia, Crystal Marie Gonzalez, Melissa Ann Gonzalez, Melissa Ann Granberry, Melissa Diane Gorbett, Blanca Lopez Guerra, Kimberly Terrio Guzman, Cameron Lee Harrison, Neku Aikikor Harrison, Henry Heiser, Colleen Hunter Goodrow, Gregory Mann Jackson II, Acadia Matilda Joins, Brittany Lynn Wardwell Kelly, Andrew Sagizi Ong, Maria de Lourdes Flores Ortiz, Christina Annette Cortez Perry, Melissa Lopez Pham, Christine Gail Piñones, Hilaria Mena Reyes, Imelda Rios, Lisa Marie Rodriguez, Monica Lisa Rodriguez, Elena Sabunku, Mary Catherine Schoolcraft, Christina Skelsky, Rebecca Georgian Sloniker, Sarah Ann Sosa, Karen Marie Spencer, Carmencita Leslie Spreadling, Elizabeth Lopez Villarreal, Rita Pauline Villarreal, Rochelle Denise Clifton Wheeler, Wendy Marie Wilson, Catherine Worley, Doris Elaine Young. <laughs> College of Business, Rodrigo Abascal. Joe Denise Adams. Abigail Marie Aguilar. Graduating cum laude Annalise Alger. Ashley Allman, Elena Michelle Anderson Martinez, 
graduating summa cum laude, Ashley Onamashan. Graduating cum laude, Luz Elena Avila. Brandon Michael Berg. Graduating summa cum laude, Catherine Tina Blake. Graduating cum laude, Christina Bell Bradshaw. Graduating cum laude, Veronica K. Brewer. James Brooks. Kristen Nicole Broersma Lozano. Eduardo Campos. Mark Clifton Childs. Gilbert Robert Cortinas III. Justin Lake Cruz. Nicholas Curiel III. Alexander Lane Curl. Jelani Alamayu Curie. Robert Ernest Demeray. Stephanie Marie DeWaters. Natalie H. Ekstrom. Brianna Kalen England. Christopher D. Spinoza. Timothy Isaiah Franco. Brandon Allen Fox. Jerry Adam Garcia. Laura Garcia. Rocio Garcia. Dana Ray Gibbs. Luis Antonio Gomez. Carlos Alfredo Gonzalez. William Gottschalk. Michael J. Green. Joey Robert Hammock. Daniel Lee Ebert. Graduating magna cum laude, Gustavo Lee Hernandez. Stephanie Adele Hernandez. Kayla Marie Howard. Graduating cum laude, Lucas Daniel Howard. Graduating cum laude, Caitlin Marie Hunt. Jamie K. Jackson. Graduating cum laude, Colin James Jeffries. Nicholas Alexander Jimenez. Matthew C. Jones. Pietro Jordao. Sheila Kerr. Young Jung Kim. Haley Alexandria Kim. Ludwig Alexander Kramar is the second. Graduating magna cum laude, Ang Hong Lee. Jordan Kristen Lee. Carla Lopez. Luis Alfred Mandel. Christina Danielle Martinez. Veronica Mayorga. Shelby Nicole McClure. Ashley Nicole McGee. Austin William Mertz. Morteza Mostagazi. Christopher Lee Monroe. Cameron Alexander Knott. Jarrett Sterling Ortman. Graduating summa cum laude, Victoria Padillo. Diane Terrell Palmer. Cynthia Park. Derek Cole Parton. Jacob Danell Peterson. Caleb Matthew Pittman. Kelly Plea. Graduating cum laude, Shelby Lynn Palasek. Garrett William Ransom. Coral Rapay. Ryan Joseph Rodriguez. 
graduating magna cum laude, Valentinas Rudis, Leslie Janelle Salas, Charles Wayne Saunders III, Monica Silva, Nadja Silva, Thomas Champ Solomon, Taylor Marie Thurman, graduating summa cum laude Ha Tan To, graduating summa cum laude Pirosca Toros, graduating summa cum laude Ni Tran, Amy Christie Tucker, Jared Clay Van Blarkham, Cynthia Ann Vasquez, Gustavo Velez, Allison Nicole Vestal, graduating summa cum laude Megan Marissa Villanueva, Brandon C. Wheeler, Grace E. Withers, Ashley Lynn Young, Vanessa Zamora, Vanessa Mireya Zamora, graduating summa cum laude Christina Suniga, College of Education and Human Development, Rashad Laron Anderson. Sara Maria Aviles, Jason P. Beckett, Christina Brienes, Bonnie Ashley Cantu, graduating summa cum laude Christian Rafael Covarrubias, Shelby Taylor Curley, Kayla Shea Day, Malison Ray De Leon, Jessica Abeto De Melanta, Brandon Michael Fellon, Samantha Renee Flores, graduating cum laude Madison Marie Flynn, graduating cum laude Vanessa Michelle Galindo, Aaron N. Galvan. Andrea Christina Gilson, Bianca Nicole Guerra, graduating cum laude Hillary Janelle Guzman, Quay T. Haney, Gabrielle Nicole Holloway, Annalie Giselle Jaime, Jessica Michelle Jenkins, Emily Page Kennedy, Omar D.W. Leonard, Christopher Gus Luzania, graduating cum laude Cold Alexandra Martinez, Alexandra Ray Masaryk, Alexa Clarice Montemayor, Julie Marie Nicholson, Sohei Kisi Umaruwe, Karina Marie Parlamas, Kathy Joe Perez, Lauren Pieritz, Nicholas Rene Portillo, Ireno Puente III, Eric Roman Reyes. Graduating summa cum laude, Christopher Marcus Rodriguez, Aaron A. Seda, Tyler Seiler. Graduating cum laude, Jessica Shapiro, Deravian Stenson. Graduating cum laude, Haley Janae Sutton. Christopher Tagliaferro, Frederick Trevino, Matthew David Umstead, 
Tierney Joy Young, Claudia Savala, graduating magna cum laude Hannah Noel Abbey, graduating cum laude Melina Adams, Liana Marissa Aguilar, graduating cum laude Sarah M. Alexander, Juliana Isamar Almanza, Bianca Alvarado, Amy Nicole Baker, graduating magna cum laude Sarah Elizabeth Baumgartner, Alexandria Danielle Bowden, Kylie Nicole Christian, graduating summa cum laude Argentina Cortez, Allison Michelle Cortinas, graduating cum laude Ashley E. Crow, Nicole Marie Darwin, graduating summa cum laude Christina Lynn Davis, Valeria De La Garza, Naisu Dominguez, Anna Elena Escobedo, graduating magna cum laude Marisa Garza, Marcia Elizabeth Gomez, Ashley A. Gonzalez, Audrey Deanne Gonzalez, Elise Nicole Gonzalez, Veronica Claire Gonzalez, Christian Aneid Gracia Cervantes, graduating summa cum laude Renee Alexis Guerra, graduating summa cum laude Amanda Erin Gallori, Catherine Davis Hardy, graduating cum laude Marcy Marie Hathaway, Melissa J. Hernandez, Aaron Howard Bach, Jema Howard, Marina Kearns, Amanda Elaine Keeter, graduating summa cum laude Lynette Lambert Hasso, graduating summa cum laude Sloan Langham, graduating cum laude Melissa Lopez, Tiffany Lynn Lopez, graduating cum laude Felicia Rachel Merkel, Taylor Derdowski Merriman, Janie Morales, Camilo Moreno, Monica Munoz, graduating summa cum laude Arlindo Norgard, Shelley Marie Oltzman, graduating magna cum laude Asita Pardum, graduating summa cum laude Priscilla Padruzin, graduating summa cum laude Monique Phillips, Gabrielle Ramirez, graduating summa cum laude, Karina Rodriguez, Maria E. Rodriguez, graduating summa cum laude, Amber Nicole Sears, Sarah Elizabeth Sloan, graduating magna cum laude, Marissa Sosa, Graduating magna cum laude, Veronica Antoinette Stevens. Hannah Toll. Kaylee Whitley. Kate Kirkland Yarbrough. Graduating summa cum laude, Haley Claire Samora. College of Nursing and Health Sciences, Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Leslie Jade Alanis. 
Brian John Alec, Denise Moreno Caro, Vanessa Castaneda, Shalanda Nicole Cummings, Alandre Gavin Dennis, Shalindria Elizaldi, Evelyn Catalina Garcia, Kristen Nicole Garza, Sarah Elizabeth Garza, Adriana Eulalia Gonzalez, Kendrea Shanti Hayes, Felicia Nicole Hernandez, Victor Hernandez, Amy Ann Macias, Adeline Marquez, Juanita Isabel Martinez, Raquel Selena Martinez, Will McCann, Regina Marie Miranda, Sofia Ortega, Aubrey Pankratz, Lisa Perez Cano, Ryan Andrew Peter, Janelle Elizabeth Peters, Audrey Elizabeth Poirier, Rachel Ann Rambo, Leslie Melissa Ramirez, Sabrina Paige Scott, Olga Lydia Uribe, graduating summa cum laude Montserrat Olavisi Usman, graduating magna cum laude Rafiat Omolola Usman, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, graduating cum laude Jessica Aber. Graduating cum laude, Tracy Lee Alvarez. Graduating cum laude, Julia Michelle Briones. Brandon Ray Broyles. Clinton Edward Butler. Marissa Alexandra Cantu. Graduating cum laude, Michael James Casareto. Kimberly K. Oil. Kimberly Nicole De La Garza, Marissa Lynn Dunn, Janet Estrada, graduating summa cum laude, Melissa K. Fix, Laura Flores, graduating mag magna cum laude, Latimaria Flores, Ambry R. Garcia, Graduating magna cum laude, Michelle Christine Garcia. Kimberly Robin Garza. Graduating magna cum laude, Kaylee Paige Golick. Evelyn I. Gale. Iris Gomez. Mary Alice Gonzalez. Kyla E. Goodman. Graduating summa cum laude, Lori L. Grant. Graduating magna cum laude, Rita Marie Guerra. Caitlin Renee Haney. Kelly Jean Hazlitt. Graduating cum laude, Ruby Maricela Hernandez. Graduating cum laude, Jules Christine Hessek. Doletus Natalie Hidalgo. Graduating cum laude, Abigail Leanne Holscher. Graduating cum laude, Kayla Horton. Jessica Clares Hyber. Huber. Tyler Lynn Landgraf. Desiree Celise Langoria. Graduating cum laude, Brenda Elizabeth Lopez. Edie Marie Lopez. Omar Alberto Lopez. Daniel Martinez. 
Sonia McClellan, Jasmine Delgado Morton, graduating cum laude and honors program graduate Andrea Molter, Mackenzie Wynn, Sephania W. Peace IV, Chastity Flint Perez, Danielle Rene Perez, Jupiel Reynaldo Rabanzo, Caitlin Reed Ramsey, graduating cum laude Sarah Raymond, graduating cum laude Sarah Reedy, Audrey Lee Rendon, Jessica Robles, graduating cum laude, Jeanette Rodriguez, graduating magna cum laude, Skylar Romain, Leslie Rosales, Priscilla Marie Sainz, Morgan M. Stevens, Ton Na Vong, graduating cum laude, Sherry Lynn Ward, Graduating cum laude, Crystal Araceli Cepeda. And College of Liberal Arts, Bachelor of Applied Science, Ashley R. Gonzalez. I'd like to ask all of the graduates to please rise and let's all give them a, a round of applause. Thank you. You may be seated. We will now proceed with the commissioning of officers in the United States Armed Services. I would like to confirm that Ryan Peter has met all the requirements to be a commissioned officer in the grade of second lieutenant in the United States Army. Commissioning will be done by Lieutenant Colonel Curtis Johnson. Having been appointed an officer in the Army of the United States, in the Army of the United States, in the grade of second lieutenant, at the grade of second lieutenant, I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear, that I will support and defend, that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, against all enemies, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, foreign and domestic, and I'll bear two faiths, 
and I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. I take this obligation freely. I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. That I will. That I will. Willing and faithfully. Willing and faithfully. Discharge the dis duties. Discharge the duties of the office I'm about to enter. Of the office I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. We would also like to take this opportunity to recognize all our veterans and active duty servicemen and women in attendance today. Would you please stand and allow us to thank you for your service. Thank you. I'd like to now call on Mr. Ed Cantu, President of the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Alumni Association, to welcome you on behalf of the Alumni Association. Congratulations. Today you join the ranks of more than 43,000 alumni who have graduated from this great university. Our island university has helped mold and shape the person that you've become and has built the future that now is in front of you. Your alumni association wants to help you build your network, support your dreams, and keep you connected with this great university that we all know and love. You will enjoy participating in all of our fun events throughout the year, and staying in touch through islanderalumni.org. So to our newest alumni, use the knowledge that you have gained to make a difference in your life and in the lives of others. Whatever you can conceive and believe, you can achieve. And remember, one thing always remains true. You are now and will always be an Islander forever. On behalf of your National Alumni Association, I welcome you as fellow alumni. Congratulations. Go Islanders. Graduates, you have many people to thank for reaching this point in, my, in your life. Will all the mothers, fathers, spouses, children, and other family members of the graduates please stand? And graduates, I want you to thank them for today. The history of Texas A&M Corpus Christi goes back almost 70 years. We began as the area's premier institution of higher education in 1947, and we continue to build a legacy of excellence today. You can be all be proud to be alumni of the Island University, the only university in the nation located on its own island. Please stand and join me in the singing of our official alma mater led by our singers. The alma mater can be found on the back of today's program and on the Jumbotron screen.
You may be seated. As we conclude this commencement ceremony, I would like to thank our commencement speaker again, Mr. Charles Dorain, for his commencement address today to our graduates. We also need to thank the folks that provide our music today, the Symphonic Winds Group, under the direction of Dr. Brian Shelton. My sincere thanks to Dr. Shelton and the band for our wonderful music today. Thank them for us. I would also like to thank all of you who came out today to help honor our graduates. This is a special day and one they will cherish forever. For the safety of our guests, please remain seated until the platform party and the graduates have exited the arena. Graduates will be exiting out the building towards Shoreline Boulevard. Please meet with them there, take some great pictures, thank you and have a great evening.